Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I am talking about a one brand wash day. And today I used Jessie Curl. You will see me wash, style, and do all the things. This is actually the end of day one hair with Jessie Curl products. The reason I wanted to start doing these one brand wash days was to show and demonstrate exactly how the formulators intended their products to be used. They formulate their shampoo, their conditioner, their all their products to coordinate together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing a short little series on one brand wash days here on my channel. And if you find these helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. It's just fun to see the experiment and being able to video this process and show the results and talk about how my hair feels in a video format might be more helpful than just a picture on Instagram. I used to do these way back in the day on my Instagram. I used to do one brand wash days and document the results and say exactly what I did. This just makes more sense. It's more cohesive and comprehensive because you actually get to see, or I, I can look back and see exactly what I did and know exactly how it looked in real life. This is more like real life than just a picture in my bathroom, you know, like I'm moving. You can see how the hair moves. Anyway, you get the idea. So I'm actually going to start this process the night before. I like washing my hair at night and sleeping in the crunch. It gives my hair more time to sit in the cast. So I'm just starting off with the Jessie Curl Gentle Lather Shampoo and I'm gonna thoroughly, thoroughly wet and saturate my hair and get small amounts of this product and distribute it all throughout my head. I find that instead of grabbing a giant glob and and working it through my hair, it works better to grab small amounts and put it on different sections of my hair. This lather is pretty stiff and it forms very small bubbles, but it is very cleansing. I'm also grabbing my scalp brush. Oh, that thing feels so good. After a really good scrub, I'm just gonna rinse all the shampoo out and I'm gonna take my time and really rub my scalp and rinse, 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 rinse. That is very important. Now I'm just grabbing the Jesse Curl Aloba Conditioner. This is a very cool product. Oops, don't squirt it all over everything. And I'm gonna start working this through my hair. I have really started enjoying using a wet brush to work my conditioner throughout my hair. I, I just like it. It's quicker and easier for how, when I'm feeling lazy, I do think using your fingers to work the conditioner through your hair is inherently better because you can feel your hair where it might need some more conditioner. You, you get a feel for how your hair is doing, how healthy it is when you're actually touching it with your fingers. But when you're washing late at night and you're feeling lazy, the wet brush is a very nice, quick way to work the conditioner all through your hair. I really like splitting my hair into sections so that I get conditioner to the center section of my hair as well. All right, now I'm going to really do a thorough squish to condition. And this is where this conditioner is really interesting. It actually disappears into your hair. I'm also getting palmfuls of water. Isn't that an amazing squish sound? And just really squishing all that water into my hair, water and conditioner, getting my hair thoroughly, thoroughly hydrated. Now I'm just rinsing all this conditioner out. I find that my hair has been doing better lately without using a leave-in of any sort. Also, the Aloba conditioner is actually designed to be a leave-in, so if you need a leave-in, leave it in. All right grabbing just a tiny, tiny amount of Confident Coils. This is an extremely concentrated product and I am squishing it in. That's why I only grabbed a little bit. Grabbing a tiny bit more for the back of my head and I'm going to glaze and try my best to shake the hair off the back of my head and stay in frame, but I'm gonna knock every bottle over while I do that. All right, just squishing the Confident Coils into the back of my hair. Lots of squishing and scrunching in this application. 
Now I'm grabbing the Spiralicious. This is also an extremely concentrated product, so I'm just grabbing a little bit. Going to rope it in and begin squishing. Now I'm grabbing just a little bit more for the back of my hair and I'm gonna glaze and scrunch. I really like grabbing small amounts of product and distributing them through my hair that way. I find that that gives me a more even application than if I grab a gigantic amount, which would be the same amount that I'm using, just breaking it up into smaller amounts helps with an even application. All right, squishing it into the other side of the back of my head and trying to stay in frame. I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to film this. We may have to switch things up just a little bit for the next one product wash day. Now I have plopped for about 20 minutes and diffused for about 30. As you can see, I am using my Dyson blow dryer and my black orchid diffuser. Good morning. All right, so I diffused to about 80% dry last night and then I hung around just my house watching TV while I waited for my hair to finish drying and when it was almost dry I put it up in a puff cuff and went to bed. I sleep on a silk pillowcase and yeah when I got up this morning it was pretty wonky and disheveled but I didn't want to like touch it and mess with it because I wanted to do that on camera. So what I did is I threw the satin bonnet on so that I could wash my face and put on my makeup and get dressed and stuff without disturbing my hair too much. So let's take this puff cuff out. A puff cuff is this really cute little hair clip. It's really, really nice. It holds everything in place fairly gently taking off my ring and all I'm gonna do is start scrunching out the crunch there's really not much crunch in my hair um, spiralicious never gives me a crunch so there's that and I'm gonna fluff the roots and here we are this is an all Jesse curl wash straight after scrunching out the crunch let me do a little turnaround so you can see all the things. I haven't gotten a chance to look at it yet. Hopefully it's not too weird and wonky, but I'll be back at the end of the day to show you the end of day results because I swear it always looks way better right after you scrunch out the crunch. So, and I'm probably gonna be touching it a lot, but anyway, all right, I'll be back. And I'm back again. All right, this is the end of day hair with the all Jesse Curl wash. And honestly, I think it looks better than it did when I first took it down this morning, which is odd. That never happens to me. So let me show you all the angles. My roots are weirdly, weirdly flat, and I'm having some like very strange cowlicks happening, but well, I am short, so I guess a lot of people can see the top of my head, but I can't see the top of my head. And all I see is that it's kind of big and soft and voluminous and wavy and, and nice. Um, it still feels over conditioned and yeah. Early on in my Curly Girl journey, I was able to use the Jessie Curl products a lot and get really, really great results because my hair was much more damaged. I hadn't chopped off all the really high porosity parts of my hair yet. I still had color in my hair. Um, and so my hair responded very well to the Jessie Curl products early on in my Curly Girl journey. Now that I've come further along and have been really taking care of my hair, my hair does not require as much moisture as the Jesse Curl products provide. So it just feels like there's too much moisture in my hair right now. Um, so my thoughts for today 
would be that the Jesse Curl products would be fan flippantastic for somebody with coarser hair. Coarser, thicker diameter hair, not fine hair like mine, requires more moisture. Finer hair has less protein by nature, therefore requires protein. So, coarser hair, having more protein, would need more moisture. And the Jessie Curl products are protein free for the most part. You will see hydrolyzed oat protein in the Aloba daily conditioner. And I actually got to listen to the formulator for Jessie Curl speak on that. Oat protein is not, hydrolyzed oat protein is not like a regular protein. Um, it actually just coats the hair. It doesn't penetrate and reconstruct the hair. It didn't act like a protein. It acts like a film forming humectant. So it's actually moisturizing rather than being a protein. So if you are extremely protein sensitive, the Jesse Curl products were designed for people whose hair is extremely protein sensitive. All right. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please subscribe, click the bell, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. More One Brand Wash Days coming soon.